Welcome to the Agresso 5.6 upgrade video tutorial, the new features. The tutorial lasts approximately 10 minutes. The outline includes improved screen layouts, type ahead fields, the automated missing GRN process, creating a new capital project, amending capital project tasks. Let's look at the home page. As you can see the Agresso logo has changed. On the right hand side of the home page you still have access to my shortcuts and on the left hand side the navigation pane is still arranged in modules. These modules are based on your user role. You will experience improved screen layouts on many of the input screens. Let's take a look at the requisition screens under the procurement module. Notice there are fewer tabs to the requisition screen as the delivery details are on the requisition entry tab. There is an improved toolbar that contains all the necessary commands for the active screen. Let's look at a second screen, the sales order amendment screen. The improved layout combines the customer information together with the order details. We are now going to look at type ahead fields. I will demonstrate this using a requisition. I'm going to click into the supplier field and instead of using the field help on the right hand side I'm simply going to type a description for the supplier. Notice a drop down appears and I can select from that list. I shall add a contact and my next step is to add a brief message to the approver. You will also find type ahead fields in the requisition details tab. In the product field I will type legal. As a result this produces a drop down list and I am able to select legal fees property. Next we will look at the automated goods receipt tasks that replace the existing parked invoice method. These tasks are to capture those occasions when the requisitioner has forgotten to goods receipt on a purchase order. They should not be used to replace the goods receipting process. Let's look at a goods receipting workflow. Account scan, index and register an invoice. They then check to see if the requisitioner has goods receipted the purchase order, indicating that the goods or services have been received. If the PO has not been goods receipted, Agresso will now issue the requisitioner with a missing GRN task. By selecting the task, reviewing the details and approving, the requisitioner can goods receive the order from the task without moving screens. The second check is to confirm that the invoice does not exceed the purchase order amount by more than £15 or 5%. If the answer is yes, then Agresso issues the requisitioner with what is termed as an out of tolerance task. In the unlikely event that the out of tolerance task is rejected, the requisitioner must add a comment and the invoice will return to accounts payable. If the task is approved by the requisitioner, then Agresso will forward the out of tolerance invoice to the requisition approver to approve before finance can pay the supplier. Let's look at a live example in Agresso. From the left hand side of the screen you will see that this user has a number of tasks they all begin with the words requisitioner to GRN trans number. We will now look at the reason why the user has received these workflow tasks. Select the task from the left hand side. Minimize the navigation pane. On the right hand side of the screen you will see a message please click on approve to goods received to the value of the invoice below otherwise click reject. You will notice you have a copy of the invoice. Click to zoom in. The invoice amount is £312.25. Click the goods receipt button to check the PO. The previously received column is still set at zero. Use the back button If you have received the goods, 
you can simply click approve. This will automatically goods receipt your order. The second example we're going to look at is where the user has only goods receipted part of the invoice. As I scroll to the bottom of the screen and zoom in, I can see that the invoice is set to the value of £170, whereas the goods receipt is only to £85. Let's check the purchase order. The purchase order clearly states that the order was raised for 170 but only goods receipted to 85 so far. Click the approve button to ensure that you have goods receipted to the value on the invoice. The third example is an over tolerance example. The invoice I have here for F Kemp and Son is for the value of 1227 but the initial purchase order raised was only for 500. By clicking Approve, Aggressor will push this task back into the workflow to an approver before it can be paid. We will now look at the new changes when creating a new capital project. Select Project Management, Project Information and Project from the Navigation menu. The first change is that you will need to click on the New button in the Project menu. The second change relates to the project status. The status Waiting for Transfer no longer exists in Agresso. All projects that are to be pushed into the workflow should maintain the status of active. This will be the default. The project category field is responsible for the tasks that your project will initially have. Select using the value lookup a particular category. In this case I will choose maintenance. We will then move on and look at how you can edit and add new tasks to your project. Use the lookup to type the number of your project. In the task code field, select the task you wish to amend. Move over to the task name, delete the wording and rename the task. Don't forget to click Save to save the changes you are making. Thank you for listening to the Aggresso 5.6 Upgrade video tutorial, The New Features. For further advice on the Aggresso self-service system, please make full use of the quick cards, the video tutorials, or alternatively contact your finance manager.